And this broadcast is for 22 August 2022 in our health series for this month. Get your finances healthy. That's what we're going to talk about. This is going to be really interesting, I hope. Everyone wants our finances fixed. However, very few people want to do the steps necessary to fix their finances. It's sort of incongruent, isn't it? <laughs> you know, like, I want money in savings, but I just can't afford to put money aside out of each, pay tech, pay, each paycheck to have that safety cushion. <laughs> you kidding me? Grow up and be a responsible adult. <laughs> oh, man. Where are you going to be in 20 years if you don't start putting money away now? So let's start with your income. And oh boy, don't give me that old refrain, what money, what income. Uh, if you got a job, you have income. You get paid for that job. Gross income is the total amount that you earn before they take taxes and all the rest of the stuff they steal out of your paycheck. Net income is what's left after they take out all those taxes and any deductions that you may have coming out. Something I used to do that really helped me, I would take have 10% of my check taken out and put directly into my, uh, well, you can put it into a savings account that doesn't really earn you anything, but that's one way to do it. I put it into a mutual fund account. And uh, then as that built up, I could buy mutual funds with it. Uh, my average return on mutual funds has been about 13% over the years. It depends on what you pick and uh, you have to make sure you're watching it. Then when I got my paycheck, that was my net. That money I put into savings and mutual funds was not income for me to spend. That was income for me to put a cushion in the place for my family's future. Get a legal pad and pen and write down. In fact, get a red flare pen. Put down your income in red. You'll see why in just a minute. Okay, necessary expenses. What are necessary expenses? Necessary expenses are things that are necessary for you to maintain your home, family, and existence and be able to go to work, such as a rent or mortgage payment, food for the family, the electric bill, the water, sewer, one, one phone bill. Now, if you and your wife work, okay, you can have two phone bills. That's it. One or two, and two only if the wife is working. I like landlines. Uh, it's I, where I live now. I can't get a landline, so I have to use a cell phone, which is very undepe undependable. Um, automobile payment. You have to get back and forth to work. Health and life insurance. Do not, do not leave your family without health and life insurance. That's a necessity. It's not, oh, if I got the extra money. No. Get health and life insurance. Especially in today's world, man, health insurance is indispensable. You must have it. Automobile payment and car insurance. And do not get the minimum car insurance. Get enough coverage such as 200 300 200 or something along that line or 200 uh, or 300 500 300 so that if you're in an accident with <laughs> a Maserati or a Rolls Royce you're not going to be paying for the rest of your life also I recommend a uh, umbrella policy minimum of a million dollars the regular your more home mortgage insurance and your uh, car insurance acts as a deductible then the the umbrella policy kicks in umbrella policies are pretty inexpensive uh, 
at a million dollars. If as you go up, of course, they get more expensive. But it, since it's a, such a high deductible, so if you have car insurance and your car insurance is two fifty five hundred, uh, that two fifty has to be paid out of your car insurance before the umbrella policy kicks in. So that's why you get cheaper rates. Here's some books that you need to read. I suggest that you do. On My Own Two Feet, A Modern Girl's Guide to Personal Finances by Manisha Fakor. Busy Family Bill Organizer. This <laughs> I saw this. It's just a bill organizer spiral bound. It's on Amazon. Family Inc. Using Business Principles to Maximize Your Family's Wealth by Douglas P. McCormick. This one I highly recommend, and I, I mentioned it on my last video, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. If you get no other book, get this book, and everybody in your family needs to read it. Also, What the Rich Teach Their Kids About Money by Robert Kiyosaki. Probably will be eye-opening in a number of ways. Extras After Necessities. Let me tell you, that new bass boat is not a necessity. <laughs> no. One of you just now said you don't know what a, how important that bass boat is. Yes. Yes, I do. It is not a necessity. It's something that you want. <laughs> get your bills paid first. Then get the bass boat. All right. Cell phones for children. That's ridiculous ridiculous if a teen wants a cell phone tell them to get a job and pay for it if they say but dad i can't go drive to work i don't have a car i don't have a driver's license whatever no problem son daughter i'll be glad to drive you to the interviews and i'll be glad to drive you back and forth to work so you can pay for that cell phone <laughs> so you need to pay for their own cell phone so our Bird for the week is flax, and uh, it helps to keep you regular, and it also is soothing, and it acts on the liver as a uh, like a healing type interaction and effect. So you need to keep that in mind. And the last thing I want to talk about this week is list your bills, write down your income. Subtract your bills from your income. That's why I said put your income in red. <laughs> Take action so that you have money left after paying the bills. Bills, in my mind, are things that are necessary. Having a home over your head, having the lights on, having water and sewer. <laughs> Those are necessities, buddy. And food to eat. So check out my website, www patreon.com slash a step above a s t e p a b o v e become a gold member nine dollars a month nine dollars a month you get my newsletter every week whatever video i do uh, you get a copy of every book i publish during the year whether i publish one book or whether i publish five books this year i probably will publish four uh, if they all line up right well, I send you a physical copy and I pay for the postage. Can't lose on that one. So anyway, make it a great week and see you next time.